Hey guys, welcome back to another extended forms video. And today we are going to be connecting Google Forms to Google Sheets. And for this demonstration, we'll be using this form. It's just a basic form for testing. And connecting to Google Sheets is really simple. Click on the Responses tab at the top and click on the Google Sheets icon. And here you can either create a new spreadsheet or select an existing one at the bottom. Let's create a new spreadsheet. So I'll click on the Create button and that should open up a Google Sheets window. And these headings apart from timestamp correspond to our form fields. So now we can go back to Google Forms to provide some responses. So I'll click on the questions tab and then I'll click on the preview button in the top right. And I've already entered some random responses. We only have two questions there. And now I'll just go ahead and enter my email address. So let's copy this one first and I'll paste it here and I'll enter some random characters. Okay, let's scroll down and click on submit. Okay, so that's done. Now we can go to the Google form and we can see our response data here. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys another way you can add your response data to Google Forms. I'll go back and we'll do this using an add-on. So I'll click on this options icon at the top, it's the top right, and I'll click on add-ons. Let's search for extended forms. Let's click on this one. And if we look at the first result, we can click on it and install it. Continue. Let's select a Google account. Scroll and click allow. And we're done. Okay, let's close this modal. Now I'll click on the add-ons icon. Let's choose extended forms. Click on configure. And that should open a pop-up. And once it's done, we can take a look at the settings. So here we have four main settings. First, we can select the sharing method for our forms. We have four different options. And then we can select a time limit. This is what really activates the timer for the quiz. And we can increase or decrease the time. And then we have an option that lets us restrict attempts. And the final option lets us automatically submit the quiz when the timer ends. So once you have configured your settings, you can click on the save button. Once it's done, we can preview the form. I'll click on get started. So we can see our timer at the top and we have our questions. So we can just go ahead and provide random answers to these questions. Okay, so I have submitted the form. Now I'll go ahead and close this tab. And now we can go ahead and view our responses. So these are the responses for this form. This one is the latest 11 seconds ago. And if we have a pro version of extended forms, we could download the CSV. But if we click on it, it's saying that we need to upgrade our plan. So I'll show you guys what it would be like with the upgraded version. So now we are on the extended forms dashboard and we have an upgraded plan. So now I'll go ahead and click on the forms tab on the left hand side. I'll click the first form at the top. And now we can go to the right hand side to open options, export CSV. So we have now downloaded the CSV and now we can go to Google Forms. So I'll click on the tab. Let's open a blank form and I'll click on file, open. Let's click on the upload tab on the right. And now we can just drag this here. And once the page refreshes, we should be able to see our form information. So here it is. And we'll click on open with then Google Sheets. And now we can see our response data inside of Google Sheets. And if you want to, you can also open your CSV files in another software. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.